Hi, welcome to Storytime in Motion at Palmer Public Library. I am so grateful to be joining you. It is a wild day outside today. It's spring break, but have you noticed all the snow out there? <laughs> it's bonkers and awesome, and there's a ton of it. So, to celebrate, <laughs> we're going to the beach. We're sticking with our spring break theme of the beach. And for our workout today, we'll be led and introduced to our movement with Ocean Counting. It's a National Geographic Kids book by Janet Lawler, and the photographs are by Brian Scary. That's kind of a fun last name. All right, let's read and get moving. All right. Explore our beautiful blue ocean while learning how to count. Visit colorful coral reefs, warm and sunny seas, sparkling ice packs, and other special spots where marine animals live and play. And on your way, discover new ocean friends on a worldwide counting adventure. Are you ready? Let's dive in. One, green sea turtle. One green sea turtle swims and skims along the ocean floor. It chomps on a meal of seagrass. See what, see what looks like a puff of smoke? It's the sandy sea bottom stirred up by the turtles feeding. Two harp seals. Two harp seals nuzzle nose to nose in the icy Arctic. Guess which is the baby? Did you choose the soft, fuzzy yellow one? Mother seal stays close to feed her new pup. Did you know a harp seal mother finds her pup in a huge crowd of seals by sniffing for its scent? Hmm, I did not know that. Three, star-eyed parrotfish. The three, oh wait, sorry. Three star-eyed parrotfish show colors as bright as tropical as the Goodness, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to start again. Three star eyed parrotfish show colors as bright as a tropical bird. What else about this fish reminds you of a parrot? The strong teeth of these fish are tightly packed into a parrot like beak. Did you know many parrotfish blanket themselves with gooey mucus before sleeping at night? Hmm, didn't know that either. Four reef squid. Four reef squid explore shallow waters. What color are they now? Faster than a blink, they can change colors or patterns. They do this to signal each other, blend in, find mates, or warn enemies. A squid's many arms are attached in a circle around its mouth. Five, pink sea star arms. Five arms on this pink sea star bend and flex. Tube-like suckers underneath these arms hold the sea star in place. What else do the suckers do? They grab food and help the sea star move. Did you know if an arm breaks off, a sea star can grow another one? Hmm, amazing. Six, Adelie penguins. Six Adelie penguins waddle over ice toward open water. Which penguin looks ready to dive in? Maybe it's just picking up a stone to line its nest. Did you know young Adelies begin to swim on their own at about nine weeks old? Seven, glass eye fish. Seven glass eye fish dart and dip around coral. Their shiny red scales dazzle like flashes of fire. Can you also count seven big black eyes? Did you know the young of this kind of glass eye fish are spotted brown and red? Eight, sea otters. I love sea otters. Eight sea otters doze in a cozy group, floating on their backs. How do they stay dry and warm? Their thick, slick fur acts like a raincoat and traps air to keep out the cold. Sea otters use rocks or other objects to break open shellfish. Brilliant. Nine, hammerhead sharks. Nine, hammerhead sharks swim together. The sun shines down on them through clear sky and water. 
How do you think this shark got its name? Its head is shaped like a hammer. Did you know these sharks can uh, tan from the sun? Wow, didn't know that either. 10 Bermuda sea chub. 10 Bermuda sea chub glide. Tails waving side to side above a colorful reef. Where are they going? Maybe they will visit a nearby sea plant to nibble a snack. Did you know sea chubs swim in schools? A school is a large number of one kind of fish swimming together. Cool, we counted and we learned. We saw some cool stuff. Well, it's about time to get moving. I'm gonna put my book away and move this stool just a bit. Whoop, oh, sorry about that. All right, so as usual, for our workout, please make sure you have space. We're going to be moving and grooving and we need some space to do it. Please make sure you're comfortable, that we have nice things on that we can move in, and also that whatever you're on is dirty, so we're not slipping and sliding all over. And for our exercise today, you can see I've got a stool out. So like we've done before, if you're able to work next to a piece of furniture or something sturdy, we're going to use it for dips to get our arms working today too. So if you need a moment, please pause the video and gather up what you need. Otherwise, let's get moving. All right, ocean counting. Here we go. We're going to start out with one, one plank. Let's get down and strong. So we're going to get our hands under our armpits. We're going to try to keep our head, our back, and our behind as straight as possible and hold this position for just a couple of seconds. Let's plank. Yes, still planking. All right, <laughs> and out we come. Next, we've got the number two. We're gonna run. Let's run in place for 10 seconds. We'll count down backwards this time. Ready, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stop. Yes. All right, back to the floor again. Push-ups, we're working our way up to number three. Let's do three push-ups together. We'll get back in that plank position, hands under armpits, neck back and behinds out straight, and three push-ups. Let's do it. One, two, three. Yes, well done. What comes next? Four. We've got four squats. We know how to do these. I like to get my legs a little bit wider than my shoulders. I like to pretend there's a line running right behind my heels and that when I dip down, I try to imagine my bottom dipping right around that line. And then on our top half, we want our tummies and backs, shoulders and neck up straight. Let's squat it out, you guys. We'll do four. How about in Spanish? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. <laughs> well done. Working up to five. We're going to use our furniture for this one. Five dips. So we're going to make sure for this, first of all, that our furniture is sturdy. It's not going to topple over on us. And we want our feet out in front of us. They don't have to be wide, don't want them together, just comfortably spread out in front of you with a nice bend in your knees. Let's do our dips. Five, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I hope you're feeling strong. All right, six. We read about sea stars. I've also heard them called sea jellies. No, I haven't. That's a jellyfish, sea star. We're gonna do some star jumps for those. These get us moving. So again, a star jump. We're gonna start off low and crowded together. Then we're gonna explode up into a star with our hands and feet out wide when we jump, and then bring it down again into a little ball. So let's do six of those. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, Four, five, <laughs> six. Yes, way to go. All right, back to the floor. 
more. Working up to seven. Let's get our abs going. We haven't targeted those in a while. So we're going to do some crunches. Seven crunches together. Let's count in German this time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm not counting in German, am I? I'll start again. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben. Yes, you even got some extra ones in there. <laughs> All right, what comes next? Eight, eight seconds of high knees. Kind of like running in place, but this one we're gonna try to get our knees up as high as, as we can. And we'll just do this for eight seconds. So let's see, what's a good way to count? Should we just count? Let's do that. Eight seconds, high knees, let's get them up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, <laughs> you guys know what comes next. Eight, nine, nine jumping jacks. I gotta put myself back together. We know how to do these. Let's enjoy them. Nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, and to cool us down, we got up to 10. Let's do 10 seconds of breathing. We're gonna sit down, crisscross applesauce, keep your back and shoulders up nice and straight, and let's enjoy some deep, controlled breaths together. Ready? In we go. And out. In. Hold it. And out. One more together. Let's do it, you guys. And out. Well done, that was really fun ocean counting. I am so happy to join you today. Thanks again for the workout, it was a pleasure to join you. <laughs> if you'd like to be, in, ah, excuse me. If you'd like to be in touch, please find us on our Facebook page, Friends of the Palm Republic Library. You're always welcome to find us on our website, pplak.org, or give us a call Tuesday to Saturday from 10 to four at 745-4690. Thanks again. Have a snowy day. <laughs>